Hey everybody, Professor Snart here, just checking in. It is uh, Wednesday, July something, I don't even know, July 6th. Uh, yeah, so we moved pretty fast, so you know I'm getting my dates. I gotta check the calendar on a pretty regular basis. So we are now moving into, and I'll just click myself into our course, our uh, next unit, which is unit uh, five, I believe. Yeah. So you're reading another short story. Uh, from our book called Boys and Girls by Alice Moreau, pretty famous um, Canadian author. And then there's some um, works cited material, kind of a nice video tutorial, which is often uh, a little more helpful than just getting a big chunk of text you have to read. So to actually be able to see it is sometimes um, people kind of learn a lot better that visually than just um, reading a bunch of stuff. So this is one of those units where the material is fairly limited within the unit itself, so there's not a lot to work through. The videos themselves are relatively short. Um, but like I mentioned in my previous video relative to um, MLA citation, this is one of those, there's not a lot here as far as like a big chapter to read, but there's uh, really important kind of core fundamental stuff that we have to be getting correct and I have to see as correct in your essays um, for you to be passing the class. So it's not a ton of material, but it's really important material. The other couple of assignments that are related or that are in this unit then are uh, related, but um, you want to sort of think, think about them separately. And what we've done here, what I've done for this unit is kind of pull apart two of the kinds of writing that you'll often be incorporating in an essay. So while we'll ultimately bring these two sort of together um, for the essays, we've pulled them apart right now. So the two parts are the two kinds of writing. Uh, one, a basic summary of the short story. So very straightforward, um, two-page summary, so fairly short, and that's double-spaced. You do need a works cited page. So again, if you're sending me um, the assignment with no works cited, you're unlikely to get any credit because it's just, you know, a fundamental part of that assignment. And it's simple to do, so uh, you can, again, use that to your advantage. So a summary of the short story. So for summary, there's no kind of opinion or um, evaluative statement like this is good, this is bad. You even want to back away, if you can, from interpretive statements. Uh, so trying to, um, you know, interpret the story in terms of important themes or how gender works or all of those things which I'm sure will occur to you as you read the story, but you really do want to just provide summary. Um, of course you do, at the same time, though, want to still organize. So it's not just one big block of text you're providing, but probably something that reflects sort of an introduction, you know, summary of the story through <clears throat> maybe three body paragraphs, and then a basic conclusion. Uh, so you still have a kind of essay structure in place, just not um, a full-blown kind of literary analysis. So the idea here is to really get you to focus on the details that are important in the story without feeling obliged to, uh, you know, fit them into some larger analysis. So working on just kind of um, summary in and of itself here is helping us to focus on details, which are like those direct quotations, which form the, the fundamental support for any ideas that we have or that you want to develop in the essays. So again, just focus here on details, picking out the important ones, being able to integrate those quotations effectively into your writing without having to worry about all of the other stuff that essays involve. The other part, uh, or the other writing assignment that's um, part of this unit is sort of like the opposite of summary. So there's a discussion board that's asking you for your response to the story. And this is going to be a lot different than where you are making much more of the kind of interpretive statements or even evaluative whether you like or dislike something. Um, um, so th the thing that you really can focus on for this unit is when you do these two assignments, think about showing me that you really get the difference in tone and style and, and uh, the kind of objectives between that straight summary and then more of that response style that you're doing in the discussion board. And like I said, it's a little bit artificial to pull these two apart, these two kinds of writing apart this way, um, because ultimately we'll be kind of bringing them back together in the essays, at least as far as working with details, sort of the summary part, and um, more 
uh, of the analysis or interpretation style. So we won't be doing strict summary in an essay. You don't want to do that. And you don't want to ultimately do response like I uh, like the story or I didn't like the story in an essay. So we do sort of versions of these two when they come together in an essay. But it's useful to pull them apart here so we can really see how each works kind of individually and just focus really narrowly on those. Uh, the other little piece of this unit then is just making sure you've got a library card that works. Um, it's good to be sure of that now so that later on when you're having to do research, you're not um, trying to log into the library system and realizing that your card is expired or you don't have a card or there's a hold on it or some other weird thing has happened. Um, so just a little check to make sure you've got a, a library card. It happens to be in the form of a little quiz that you need to access the libraries for, so pretty straightforward. Um, okay, so now we've also got some uh, graded work under our belts as far as discussion board, but also writing assignments. So be sure you're checking into the grade book, uh, looking to make sure you got the um, uh, credit for the assignments that you've completed, and then for like the uh, paragraph assignment, the writing assignment, in addition to maybe a little comment that I'll send back in the comment box and the numerical grade, I also um, provide relatively extensive comments or uh, kind of annotation within the file itself. So you always want to look to look at the file that I've sent back to you um, to determine what sorts of errors you made. And for the most part, I think if I highlight an error or just draw it to somebody's attention, um, it's, they're usually pretty obvious. In 90% of the cases, people will say, oh yeah, of course, that's a typo, or I put the comma in the wrong spot, or um, I used the wrong word there. So usually it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. But of course, in those cases where there's a correction and you're not really sure what the problem was or you want clarification, um, by all means, be in touch with me. But before um, jumping onto the email, be sure you do take the time to read the comments. Um, if uh, uh, you know, you may even want to reread the assignment to make sure you didn't miss a piece of it. That sometimes happens. Um, and then obviously open that file up to read all of the comments and the various uh, annotations in there too. Okay, so we keep moving at a pretty brisk pace here as we come up on our next due date, which is uh, this coming Friday. So again, if you have any questions or concerns, just be in touch with me.